What's going on Dragon Ball Z fans, Under Entertainment Gaming here today bringing you some news, information, and updates surrounding Dragon Ball Xenoverse and everything you guys need to know before the game comes out on February of 2015. Now for starters everybody, uh, the official maps have been confirmed for this game. The following maps that have been confirmed for this game are as follows. We have Toki Toki City, we have West City, we have the World Martial Arts Tournament, we have Space, we have the inside of the spaceship, we have the Hyperbolic Time Chamber Vault, we have the Saiyan Pod Landing, we have of course the traditional mountain area, we have the Sacred World of the Kais, we have the Sky Map, we have the Cell Games Arena, we have Kami's Lookout, Planes, Planet Namek, Planet Namek in Ruins, and a few other additional maps that have not been leaked out just yet, but a total of 24 base maps will be included in the game. Now, for many people out there who don't already know, if you actually pre-order the game, you will be able to get your free hands-on playable characters for Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Yes, GT characters will be included in the game. There are also two different versions of the game. Now we have Dragon Ball Xenoverse the regular normal collection and we have the collector's edition which will come with a black metal case of Shenron and two exclusive in-game battle suits along with Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta as a playable character. Now the game is actually set for release on February 13th for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. The PC version will be available on Steam on February 17th. So the game does drop on February and uh, you're able to get your exclusive PC copy on February 17th for those of you out there who do want to play um, on the PC and as for normal users it will be on February 13th. Now a lot of other characters have been included in the game such as Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Vegito has been added within the game as well but they also have included a Budokai Tenkaichi mode. Now many people might be wondering well what is this? Budokai Tenkaichi, the old traditional style of Budokai Tenkaichi will be included in this game along with the World Martial Arts Tournament, the traditional classic tournament where you're able to select your players and you're able to rank up through the ranking board by battling other players or AI if you choose to do so. Now, the game will have a leaderboard so the top fighters can be recognized all over the Dragon Ball Xenoverse world, which ultimately means that yes, the World Martial Arts Tournament is going to be an online mode that will be included in the game. Now, Budokai Tenkaichi mode for Dragon Ball Xenoverse has been, you know, revealed and players can enter to fight you know, or just spectate battles within the World Martial Arts Tournament, so that will be debuting within the game as well, as well as Vegito, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and possibly other characters as well, such as Gogeta, Janemba, and Omega Shenron, and other characters to be. Now, also, the game will have a Day 1 edition. Now, as I said, February 17th, the game will be dropped. Uh, as followed for February 13th, the game will be released in Europe. Um, but the game will also have a day one edition. The Japanese version was confirmed uh, a week before anything else, which will be released on February 5th of 2015. So whoever lives in Japan, you will be getting your copy a week earlier than the North American release and the European release. So exclusively for Japanese owners, they're able to have the day one edition, which allows them to play online a week earlier. Now, uh, another thing that has been included in the game are customizable combos and in-game transformation. So we're not going to have the old Battle of Z you know, style where we're not able to transform within the game. We're actually able to transform within the game whenever we want. So if you want to become a Super Saiyan 1, 2, or 3 for any of your characters, you're able to do that. And along with your own character, your own customizable Saiyan is actually able to transform into a Super Saiyan. So if you guys decide to make your own Super Saiyan, perhaps, or your own Saiyan, within the game, whenever you choose, you're able to take your own character and able to transform him into a Super Saiyan whenever you choose. So if you want to make your own character and go up against Goku and you want to transform against Goku, your character is able to do that. Now, um, different alternative outfits have been confirmed as well, specifically for Android 18, for Android 17, Piccolo, Goku, Vegeta, Trunks, and whatnot. So 
you're actually able to choose different outfits for different characters along with your own characters such as customizable Namekians, Majins, Saiyans, and humans. Now, as I said earlier, everybody, GT characters have been confirmed. There is a giant rumor surrounding Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Beerus, Broly, Omega Shenron, Kid Goku, and Super Saiyan God Goku. There has also been a rumor that they might include a Super Saiyan God Vegeta. So, GT characters along with the Battle of Gods movie characters uh, are all rumored right now, but eventually I'm pretty sure that this will be a confirmation. So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below pertaining Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Are you guys excited about this? Do you guys hate the game? Do you guys love the game? Do you guys think this will be like Battle of Z or better? Or the other question that will pertain is do you guys think this game will be better than the best game that Dragon Ball Z has ever come out with, which is Budokai Tenkaichi 3? Do you guys think that Xenoverse is going to be better than Budokai Tenkaichi 3? Let me know in the comments section below, everybody. Once again, thank you all for watching. If you guys are Dragon Ball Z fans, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest Dragon Ball Z news, information, and updates. If you guys are excited about Dragon Ball Xenoverse, if you guys cannot wait to see what's going to happen next, don't forget to hit the video up with a like and a favor. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, everybody. Once again, if it wasn't for you guys, uh, we wouldn't have never have made this happen. It's because of you guys that we're getting a new game, a new movie, and more new things to come. So you guys deserve to give yourselves a round of applause. And that's because it's all because of you guys that we're getting more Dragon Ball Z content by you guys spreading my videos, by you guys voicing your opinions and telling these companies what you truly want. We have... Uh, gotten a new game right now that's set for 2015 and Dimps has been working very hard on this to produce a game that we are all going to truly love and enjoy. Customizable characters, online warfare, you know, an alternative story that involves different characters, the Supreme Kai of Time, Gods of Destruction, a whole bunch of stuff. So it's because of you guys that we're actually making this happen. So thank you all for watching once again. Uh, if you guys are Dragon Ball Z fans, don't forget to subscribe, everyone. Please help share and spread this video so we can get the information out to everybody. So we can all get this game to have a very high uh, ranking in sales. Because if that happens, the company is going to go on ahead and continue to produce more. So thank you all for watching once again. Long live Dragon Ball Z, everybody. I hope you all stay tuned for more. There is a lot more videos headed your way. And uh, long live Dragon Ball Z, everybody. And I'll be seeing you all later. For Vegeta, peace!